everyone. Welcome to theCUBE's presentation of the AWS Financial Services Partner Series. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. I'd like to welcome two guests to our show today. We first have Maria de Grandis. She is the Global Lead for Financial Services Strategic Technology Partnerships at AWS. Welcome, Maria. Thank you, nice to be here. And Will Murphy, he is the Vice President of Marketplace and Technology Alliances at Guidewire. Welcome, Will. Thank you. So both of you are here to talk today about the partnership between the AWS Financial Services uh, team and Guidewire. Will, I want to start with you because I think outside of insurance, uh, many people maybe don't know about Guidewire. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about your organization, what it does, what its position is? Uh, absolutely. So uh, there's no reason for a lot of people outside of the insurance industry, particularly the property and casualty insurance industry, to have heard of Guidewire, but we've probably been a part of their life at some point. Um, so Guidewire is a, a core system provider. We are, um, I'd say, the biggest partner of the property casualty insurance industry, um, providing uh, systems for claims, billing, and policy administration, as well as um, data and analytics, and now AI uh, for the property and casualty insurance industry. We've been uh, in business for about 25 years, we're publicly traded, uh, a global company with customers all over the world, and about 25% of the, uh, the world's direct written premium. So all of those policies and claims flow on uh, Guidewire software. So very likely, uh, if you're watching this, that your insurer has written its policy on Guidewire, or if you filed a claim on a, on a car or a house, that it's been on Guidewire as well. Okay, uh, Maria, tell us a little bit about the partnership between Guidewire and AWS Financial Services. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, at, a, at a big level, AWS co-developed solutions through strategic collaborations with leaders in their respective industries like Guidewire uh, to accelerate our industry innovation. So those partners often span uh, build, going to market, um, co-selling with our with our partners. We've done all of that with Guidewire. Um, what stands out for me is that they started with a vision for transitioning their business to a SaaS platform, uh, which AWS was able to help them realize. They didn't just lift and shift their um, existing application, but they refactored it and re-engineered it to take advantage of AWS foundational services. And they put a big focus on adopting best practices for scalability, uh, resiliency, agility in the cloud. Um, with the foundational technology in place, we've really shifted a lot of our partnership focus over the last year or two to how we go to market together. AWS is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud. Guidewire is the preeminent software provider for property and casualty insurance. So bringing together those two stories we have a vision for how a modern insurance company can deliver on their business objective. Uh, we do that at large scale event. We also do that on an individual level with our mutual customers where we go in and look at how we can solve their most pressing challenges together. So that's really an incredible transformation story. Surrounding the application ecosystem to core systems is not something that we hear a lot about. It doesn't get a lot of attention. Will, will you tell our viewers a little bit about what Guidewire offers there? Sure. So, you know, it really does take uh, an ecosystem to make a customer successful, whether they're a small carrier or they're one of the world's largest tier one carriers with, you know, hundreds of billions of, of dollars of direct written premium. Um, they aren't going to use just one system. And Guidewire is well aware of that. We don't want to do everything. We want to work with the, the, the best of breed solutions and uh, consulting partners from around the world. So, to do that, we've built an ecosystem of 220 plus technology companies that uh, work with and integrate with Guidewire. Uh, we have 43 um, uh, solution consulting partners um, around the world, uh, from you know very big and broad to to very focused on the insurance industry and Guidewire practice, uh, in order to offer customers kind of a comprehensive look at um, their data states and their uh, what they're looking to do from an insurance outcome standpoint, and and build with them along the way. So there's a tremendous amount that they have to do from document management, customer communication, um, uh, data lakes, data warehouses, uh, you know, data mesh, all the things there. Um, and so we, we have built an ecosystem to support their business objectives uh, from start to finish. And AWS is a huge part of that. 
Yes, I was going to just ask Maria. I mean, AWS obviously is a huge part of this ecosystem. How do you describe your role in as part of Guidewire's ecosystem? Um, I'm going to answer that part second because I I think I want I would love to share that we have a really similar philosophy in this regard. Right, AWS would, wants to be able to run our customers' business in the cloud end to end, and we can't do that without our partners. Um, so. We know that customer research shows that preference for cloud is influenced by perceived leadership in an industry and adoption of partnerships. And so we have over 4,500 industry-specific partners specializing in 11 different verticals in AWS. So um, for us, it makes complete sense that we would partner with someone like Guidewire who brings that core functionality and then look at the entire ecosystem, right? Running an insurance business isn't just about one application. So how do we, when we're looking at, at delivering for our customers in the insurance industry, how do we give them the best of breed, as we'll mention, uh, across the end-to-end -end workflow from acquiring their customers to paying out a claim? Um, in particular with the partnership, one area we've focused on is having cloud integrations to Guidewire's partners. And so we've ensured that each of these integrations has undergone a, a foundational technology review to ensure a, a, a level of, of core cloud services. And, and we market that out to, to our joint customers to say, not only are you getting an excellent uh, cloud platform, not only are you getting the best core insurance platform, but when you are ready to look at all the other applications that have to plug into your business to make it run, We've thought about that, and we've thought about it together, and how we how we present that to our our joint customers. I would next want to talk about AI and Gen AI. Ever since ChatGPT was introduced back in November of 2022, it's really gotten so much buzz, and Gen AI and AI just more generally have emerged as transformative technologies that have enormous potential across many, many industries. Will, why don't you start by talking a little bit about Guidewires? approach and what it offers here. Absolutely. We, we've been in the machine learning and AI business for some time. And I think prior to the buzz um, around um, generative AI, it's it's been in the market for some time. I actually had just joined Guidewire uh, in late 2022 when, when uh, generative AI hit the scene in a big way. And I remember the buzz. Um, one of Guidewire's core values is rationality. So the way we look at um, new technologies hitting the scene or, or becoming particularly popular uh, in, in popular culture is um, with a very rational, um, thoughtful approach to it. We have a data and analytics um, business as part of Guidewire. That makes sense because we run so much of the world's um, insurance data across Guidewire systems. And so we're able to help our customers come up with data strategies that support their business outcomes using things like our predict um, tool to be able to run custom data models and data sets to, to, to really make better risk choices in the underwriting process. And then on the, on the claim side, to be able to get through the claims process much faster and have a better customer outcome um, and handle better. And AI fits into the, all that very well. Right now, we're working on things like um, our claims workflow, which is definitely get, receiving AI assistance. So where we need to plug in fraud solutions, where we need to plug into call centers, to help the uh, the claims professionals react faster. I mean, we've recently undergone a, you know a pretty bad hurricane season here, and claims professionals are, are receiving record amounts of claims. And so, to be able to have the assistance of um, smart uh, suggestions and AI across the claims process helps them to, to to help their customers more, whether they're on the commercial side or on the personal line side. Um, there is an arbitrary distinction between systems of record, which we, I think, historically have been called in a system of insight, and, and Godwire's both. Uh, and we're lucky that we have access to the best um, technology and infrastructure uh, with AWS um, you know, available so that we can um, continue to enhance and innovate on top of um, the world's best uh, insurance platform um, to provide our companies cutting-edge insights and utilize their data to provide um, the best outcomes uh, for uh, those that they underwrite and, and work with globally. Maria, anything to add about how you help in innovate and enhance on the Gen AI for, for Guidewire? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep this one brief. Uh, but I, when we work with partners like Guidewire, I think we get to, we get to look at this in, in two dimensions, which is how do we help enable Guidewire's own 
Gen AI journey? And then how do we enhance our mutual customers' experience with Gen AI? And, and for the latter, in addition to tools like Predict that we'll talk about, we also uh, launched a, um, a, a data connector on Guidewire's marketplace uh, that allows data from Guidewire's cloud platform to be shared across a customer's enterprise. And so customers can connect, analyze, and get more value from all their data using you know, AWS comprehensive set of AI and, and Gen AI tools. So the discussion around AI often highlights a well-known concern associated with cloud technology, and that, of course, is regulation. Will, how is Guidewire tackling this vital issue, and how is it dealing with the challenges that it poses to adoption of some of the solutions that you're offering to the industry? It's a great question. I, regulation is is a is a necessary thing. I think it's well intentioned by uh, the regulators and governments that put it in place. Uh, sometimes they they may not necessarily be experts in a particular area like AI, but it's not new to us. I mean, the insurance industry is one of the most highly regulated industries uh, in every country it exists around the world, uh, as well as being one of the oldest industries. Um, so we very intentionally built our cloud platform with. Um, privacy and security regulations in mind and with uh, the global customer in mind. Um, working with AWS, we're able to have um, you know, country-specific data centers and disaster recovery and all the things that have come to be expected. I, I almost think that this discussion uh, around some regulations with cloud, it's actually much easier to be compliant on cloud than it would be to, if you were trying to manage your own data centers. The new set of regulations I don't think there's a ton of guidance on how they're going to enforce it yet. But one of the benefits, I think, to working with um, uh, a, a technology company like Guidewire and with, a, with, with AWS is that we've leaned into talking to the regulators, to leading law firms across the, the EU about how we can best prepare customers to not ignore the massive amount of innovation and um, efficiencies they're going to get by using um, AI and machine learning. And so they don't lose out on a global competitive um, uh, a scale, which which is a concern for some of the European carriers. Um, and so we we um, appreciate the that the regulators are doing their best. We've hosted events across uh, Europe, um, from France, Italy, Germany, um, and, and the UK that specifically discuss these issues. And, and we've been really lucky to be able to work with AWS uh, and their teams on addressing these concerns uh, proactively, as opposed to waiting for. Uh, fines and other issues. Maria, I mean, Will makes a great point about making sure that customers are um, paying attention, of course, to regulation and mindful of them, but also making sure that they aren't losing out on potential innovation and helping them lean in. Can you talk a little bit about AWS and, and what it's doing here? Yeah, uh, AWS supports 143 different security standards, compliance certifications and regulations, including very well-known things in healthcare like HIPAA, for FedRAMP, dealing with the public sector, or GDPR, uh, for um, uh, customer information in EMEA. Uh, and we help satisfy compliance regulations for virtually every regulatory agency around the globe. So on a macro scale, of course, AWS is, is very uh, involved in public policy and regulation. Uh, at an FSI level, we also have uh, a compliance and regulatory organization with specialists with industry expertise who collaborate with our partners like Guidewire and who work backwards from our customers to address their specific needs uh, in jurisdictions around the world. So finally, as we wrap up here, these core system transformations are massive initiatives that can define careers and really help reshape operations. Given Guidewire's shift to being a fully managed SaaS provider and customers surely expecting more involvement and support um, compared to the on-prem model, what is Guidewire doing to be actively involved and supportive and making sure that these projects offer value right away for customers and that they are as successful as they can be. Will, I want to start with you. So our customer success comes first. I think that's actually the foundation of the partnership with AWS is a customer obsession. Um, there are only about 1,500 um, property and casualty insurers in the world. So reputation carries you a long way and it goes, it, cu it cuts both ways. It takes a long time to build a good one and you very quickly can, can see that recede if you don't treat your customers with empathy and respect. And so we start every project with understanding that this is, this is a, a big part of their business. They literally cannot write uh, policy or, or 
uh, process claims without a core system. And there's always something in place, whether it's a previous version of Guidewire, another core system, or um, something homegrown and cu customized, uh, either on-premise or, or privately managed in the cloud. And so for us, you want as little impact to the business during the migration as possible. It comes with a, a number of things. One, do we have the proper plan in place? Are we working with them to understand uh, what parts they want to migrate first or even create first on the cloud? And then do we have the right best practices from a professional services consulting partner standpoint, the right trained people to come in and, and provide the surge capacity because they have, their staff is already working on an existing uh, platform. They, they're going to need to kind of augment as they move up. And then have we made it as easy as possible? The core system on average integrates to at least 40 other applications. As we get more and more modern, that number goes up to over a hundred. So the fact that we can cut down the time to market, reduce any shelfware time um, by having pre-built integrations uh, on the Guidewire marketplace is also hugely helpful uh, to our customers. Um, and then we can be iterative with them. And we can, uh, as we are trying to make this easier and easier, I think we hope to not be career defining in that a migration would take someone's whole career. We've seen these things uh, in the process of 25 years of Guidewire go from a multi-year effort to we have customers that have gone live. Uh, we're talking in, in months versus versus years now. And that's, I think, indicative of how powerful um, building the right way and not just doing a lift and shift, but building deliberately for cloud has been and building with the right partner. Maria, I'm going to give you the last word. Will talked a lot about being intentional, being deliberate. What else What else would you have to add there? Uh, I think about it. I mean, everything that Will said is is 100% true. But I, I also think about it from the perspective of supporting from both the technical side. So our professional services organization helps uh, customers with the landing zones and AWS components of launching Guidewire SaaS. Some customers might be embarking on the first uh, step in their, their cloud journey where others might be very experienced. We also think about partnering with Guidewire's ProServe uh, organization to think about how emerging technologies can help us reduce that time to value, make these transitions a lot easier. So we could probably have a whole Gen AI conversation here about are there ways for us to um, be more efficient and, and make these transitions happen uh, more easily. And then the third pillar is really a, a continuation of, of the, the sales process, right? Our making sure that we have alignment with Guidewire's uh, customer success teams, our account managers who understand what happens after that deal is closed and, and what that means for a customer just beginning their cloud journey, what other applications, what other native services they might need. Again, so that we don't, we get ahead of roadblocks or challenges that customers might face as they're trying to leverage services along the way. So um, we, we support Guidewire however we can to make sure that, that we are getting mutually beneficial outcomes, which is customers that are happy with Guidewire and happy with Guidewire on AWS. Excellent. Well, Will and Maria, thank you both so much for, for joining us today. What a, what a really insightful conversation. Thanks, Rebecca. Great to be here. Thank you. And thank you for watching this special presentation of theCUBE's AWS Financial Services Partner Series.